Greetings from the veteran and welcome back to Operation Flying Solo. This is the review of turn 10, January of 41. Um, we have, I'm gonna forget, it's been a little while. Germany still holding in France. And uh, I believe they attacked and killed a British fighter in Trondelag, but the Brits counterattacked and we took Trondelag and left a couple of fighters and a marine and militia up in northern Norway. And the Germans had to land their aircraft in uh, southern Norway on that counter attack. And then uh, the Brits positioned a transport off of London in port. And one off of Scotland. And they're preparing to do more attacks into Norway. Uh, well, the Germans do the same. They have their transports back in port in western Germany. Ready to go. The battleship has been repaired. And they have their airborne. Two air transports now. Um, ready to go. So Italy continues to build. Um, uh, Germany. Uh, still building on the borders and building more advanced artillery and leaving a motorized infantry in position to tow it forward. Other than that, they've got 15 infantry, two regular artillery, two advanced artillery, one mech, two medium armor, two advanced mechs, all in Bess Arabia ready to go. Western Poland has uh, 11 infantry, six artillery. We've got Don Laslowski with two SS Panzers. We've got Warsaw with one infantry, one advanced artillery. One medium armor, two advanced mechs. Yeah, Germany is stacked and ready for action. The Soviets have pulled their army back into Oral Kursk and built up. They have five advanced mechs, five motorized infantry, Five advanced artillery, four infantry, and a gun in their Oral Kursk army. And uh, got a few infantry, some advanced mechs, their air force, and their airborne in Leningrad. Still got their navy in port, and their forces holding Helsinki. Next to note is that the Japanese were off of the Carolines with their entire navy and uh, they tried to move up to Hawaii and I had done the, the rest of the turn as though um, Japan had moved their fleet to Hawaii um, I hadn't even done the US turn and then I realized after the fact that uh, Japan was violating Monodo Monroe Doctrine and couldn't make that move. So I took that back, repositioned the American fleet, kept the purchases. And so I have part of Japan's Navy now off the Carolines. With the, their destroyers and one transport ready to go. And they moved a large portion of their Navy 
an amphibious assault force into season P-71 to threaten Anzac and its holdings. Um, the American Navy is in port in Hawaii. Minus their transports and a large force in San Francisco ground units. And their subs are now off of Midway, the sub base there. Um, Japan continues all, as well to buckle down in Rihi and in Siam. Um, FECs moved up their forces and they are holding in Burma. And they have moved their navy up as well and gone in port in um, Malaya. And they're holding in season P-50 as well. Three fighters have landed in Malaya along with four Marines. And the rest of the Navy is off of Malaya. The Italian Navy still sits in the Red Sea. And yeah, that's everyone's current positioning. Anzac to buy an A gun and a militia. Or no, just an A gun and save a dollar. And there's the tech chart. Germany and the Soviets, both with two each. And so the United States with three techs. Two at stage three now. And here is the income tracker. United States is at 50, just above Germany. And that's it. Also, I realized, I realized at, earlier that, um, earlier in this game, in round four, uh, in the attack on France, I made a big mistake and I illegally blitzed from Alsace into Paris and that was an illegal move. So this game is a bit um, messed up because I made an illegal play earlier and back in round four, but there's not really anything I can do about it. I'm just gonna continue playing. So that's that, bye for now.